And the other team from the weekend had a couple of losses, one in regulation, one in OT. It was the Brisbane Lightning. Um, they had six straight games at home, and now the Lightning will travel. They'll, they'll follow the Perth Inferno as they go back to WA, and the Lightning will go to Western Australia to face the Perth Inferno. Um, I did mention it at the end of our broadcast um, yesterday, I think it's it could be a good thing for the Lightning just to sort of get out of get out of home and go on the road together and spend the weekend um, in WA together. Uh, they've, they're they were unlucky not to win yesterday, but they've got a really talented lineup. I I love their blue line. I've mentioned it a lot. Um, their lines are pretty stacked, and I wouldn't be surprised if they hit the road in Perth and can t- at least grab one win. You first, Sarah. <laughs> I uh, so admittedly, I only watched the last ten minutes of their game yesterday, um, but I have been following, seeing you know just snippets of how they're playing, and it's it's nice to see. Um, as much as I love Sharnita as one of my original hockey daughters, she is doing great things up in Brisbane. She is, I think, she's kind of really found her home up there, um, and has certainly stepped up as one of the leader. I'm. Um, Lindsay Clinic, obviously, um, we know how talented she is. Um, Katie Meyer in net now that she gets to actually play in the league. Um, again, just um, <laughs> I was going to say lots of young players, but Trinita, to me, she's still a teenager, but she's not anymore. Um, it's good to see how they've been able to rebuild because even in their Goanna's days, they were struggling. Um, so it, it's good to see that women's hockey up there is growing. They're not relying on, I mean, it, it used to be with the Goannas that they would just take whoever's around and then essentially anyone that didn't make the cut for the other teams, they would just use them to boost their numbers. But now it's, they don't need to do that anymore. There's enough female hockeys and good female hockeys in Queensland that, um, yeah, they can, they have a good team. They're in good hands. They've got good support. Uh, it's, they're competitive. Yeah, and and I I think the off ice staff are incredible with the with the lightning as well, and the you know the work that that uh, Tommy Harkness uh, did with the with the team last year, just kind of changing the culture. Uh, big fan of, of you know what they were able to do last last season, um, and yeah, the, as you say, they've got some really exciting players. You know, we we mentioned the first import for the team, like genuine import, someone that they scouted, onboarded. Emma Wuthrich, you know, looks looks like a player, you know, um, and and that's achieved because of sponsorship. And I'll just I'll just post uh, put this back up. Uh, Christian Knott's comment in the chat: the A Dub is a great brand. It really needs a major sponsor. If you are watching this podcast, uh, watching this show, or listening. And you are in a decision-making role with a major brand. Um, how much goodwill would you create by sponsoring the AWIHL? Seriously, um, everyone would buy your stuff. Uh, you would be hailed as a hero. Uh, be able to retire early. No, but seriously, it would be absolutely sensational. We, it's sponsorship makes a huge difference in this sport. So um, it would be great to see uh, someone come on board. I mean, it did. The Matildas just did wonders, right? Once you you start investing in in any women's sport, just incredible things happen. Like, I mean, look at the growth of just other female sports in the country, like uh, with with AFL and with cricket um, and NRL. Professional women's sport definitely needs it's it's worth investing in. Yeah, th- they did a uh, with uh, the uh, women's soccer in in the states. They did a, um, a an analysis. And the return on investment was 10 times um, what they put in. So for a hundred thousand um, dollar sponsorship, you know, brands received one one million or between one and one point one million uh, return on that. So yeah, it's 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 and during the the Matildas games, every commercial were, had female athletes was really pumping pumping up uh, female sport. It's it's um, it's you know it's good for brands. And the and the, the league's gone up, I believe, another notch um, this season. The talent seems to be going up every year, so more investment 
will only help that increase. Before we move on from the Lightning, you did mention Lindsay Clinic. I I was super impressed, especially yesterday, um, the way Lindsay played. And one of the things that stands out for me is not not an overly big player, very small, but but for some reason is able to get in front of the crease and in those areas and hold her own and use her body quite well in those areas. I don't know if that if that's something that both of you had noticed as well, but that was something that I was really impressed with, the work rate and just that ability to, even though not overly big player, can use her size and hold her own quite well in front of the net. Yeah, well, for me, uh, I remember there was a battle in the corner. I think it was between her and, and it might have been Scala, uh, but whoever it was had, you know, at least a foot height advantage on her and and she did not lose that battle um she has you know uses her she's got incredible edge work with her skating um and uses that low center of gravity well um yeah what, what have you seen sarah i um i'm glad i don't have to face her shots anymore <laughs> um, <laughs> she's uh she's i mean she's another one that i've known oh she would have been maybe 12 or something when she was with the like not on the U18 roster, but as a development player coming through. So Tamara obviously saw something in her from a very young age, but she seems to be someone that just kept getting better and better and so much potential in her and just could read the game really well. So she knows she knows where to be. She had that anticipation. Um, but also she's got the skills to pack it up to back it up as well. So if she knows that now's a good time to make a pass or here's where I need to be to receive a pass or take whatever kind of shot. She knew what to do and she knows how to execute it too. 